What's up guys, once again it is mp4podcast.com bringing you guys some of the most interesting video game news that you guys really do need to know about. Ubisoft had to tone down some of the material in Watch Dogs for the Australian market. They had to uh, tone down the sex scenes and so on to get the game passed so they could put the game on Australian store shelves in GameStop and other stores. I don't know the retailers over there in Australia, but you get the point. My idea of a rating is so a game can have a rating on it so you can make an educated decision if this game is for you. I don't understand the Australian philosophy, especially the government. I know the gamers over there in Australia are not happy with the rating systems for video games. So what if there is some sex stuff in there or some violent stuff in there? You slap an 18 plus whatever on the game in, you know, you have to be that age to buy the game. Why is that such a big deal? I just don't get it. So, why is Australia so tight about this? I feel that the Australian politicians who are running the country over there are really behind the times. They're so far behind the times, it's almost ridiculous. I mean, I just can't fathom why they're like this over there in that country. And, you know, for the most part, 99% of Australia seems like it's a really normal place to live. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's a crazy place or anything like that. It just seems that whoever wrote the rules or the laws or whatever for video game rating system is retarded. I mean, I remember something about, like, they weren't going to let the new Mortal Kombat game that came out for PS3 and Xbox 360 over there. I mean, because of some of the blood and violence, and it's just retarded. I mean, really, I think what gamers should do over there in Australia, you guys should all, you know, make a plan and protest outside of your, your capital, whatever you call it, your White House. I'm not sure what they call it over there, but you get the point. Go over there and speak your mind. Go to these politicians' homes and protest outside of their homes. Because what they're doing is they're taking away your right to make decisions on what you guys can buy. And there's no reason why you guys should not be able to be able to buy the exact same copy that I'm going to buy just doesn't make any sense. And I know the UK is a little bit like this. I think there was some problems with Manhunt for the Wii or something like that. It was a little bit too violent and they had to tone it, Sega had to tone it down or something like that. It's getting retarded. It is really, really getting retarded. So that's my, my, my take on this. Uh, the Australian market has to really relax and let me just say this it even affects me as an american but you're probably saying how does it affect you how does it affect you i'm going to tell you how it affects me because the developers won't release the game right until they can have a worldwide release basically yeah maybe there's a couple of days here and there in each country and so on but they want to have the game ready where they can just say okay go buy it okay so if they have to go in there for the Watchdog version, change a bunch of stuff, that's probably going to push back my purchase by a month or two. All right? You understand what I'm saying? It's a lot of work to go and change part of the story, switch this around and switch that around, get it all set and done, and you're all good to, to buy it. You know, when Titanfall came out, then it came out on a Tuesday or something, and the British uh, gamers were a little bit upset because they had to wait an extra three days to buy their copy. And there's reasons for that because of the way the distribution with retailers. I think video games get released on Tuesday. Movies, I think, a Thursday. So maybe over there in the UK, they may get movies released early or music. I think music is on Wednesday. That's when the retailers, you know, they release everything on Wednesday. I think it's music. Video games are Tuesday, and I think movies are Thursday. And I think that's just so, you know, they just keep consumers 
uh, coming back to the store every Thursday there will be new DVDs and Blu-rays on the shelf same with video games every Tuesday there'll be a new games so it's not like oh this game coming out this I just know to go to GameStop on Tuesday and you know I'll see that there's new titles on the shelf so in the UK their day is probably Friday where gamers know hey time to go to GameStop it's Friday there'll be new stuff on the shelf so that's my take on this thing you Australian guys and girls need to really stop protesting this stuff because they're taking away your rights and by Australia doing this and even other countries they're messing up the timeline for the developers because the developer doesn't want to release watchdogs over here and then three months in your country all right because then the reviews come out and then if the game sucks and when it comes out in your country they're not gonna buy it okay it affects everybody so once again guys this has been mp4podcast.com signing out if you enjoyed this video please hit that subscribe button hit the like button let me know what you guys think below in the comments and um yeah let me know what you guys are thinking because I like to read the comments. You know what I'm saying? Take care, guys. I'm just goofing around. Later, guys. Bye.